So, Doctor, we said earlier that 25% of major league pitchers have had Tommy John surgery, and 25% it is it's a pretty big number. It's a percentage. Lot. It's, it's one a in lot. four. And we also hear there's a that there's certainly an epidemic to it. Would you call it an epidemic? I, you know, I think that's a great question. One of my favorite. I have a I have a lecture that I give, and it's. Um, you know, the media has really em embraced this because if you look at what things have happened over the past like three or four years, more and more pitchers have had the surgery and mm -hmm. they've had treatment for this. And I think it's one of the things that I like to say is I'm not sure that there's a, um, I think there's been an increase as to what there was before, but for a long time, this is something that I don't think was necessarily being diagnosed. You know, we didn't have, as, as physicians, we didn't have MRI to look for this injury right. until the mid 90s. So this wasn't something that we necessarily could even see, you know, or visualize. I mean, there were older ways to do it, but, but the, until you had the, the modern ways to look for it, it wasn't something we looked at. You know, and then what has happened in time is we have a better understanding of this as, as a disease or as an entity. And so before when physicians weren't necessarily looking for it, mm -hmm. they they didn't see it. But if you're looking for it now, you're more likely to make the diagnosis. So I think this is something that has been happening for a long time. I think we just recognize it a little bit more. The other thing is that the surgical um, approach and the outcomes have, have improved in time too. So whereas before it was probably a little bit scarier thing to go into, now it's a little bit easier. Right. So it's easier for an athlete to make the decision, hey, I want to go forward with surgery because they, can, uh, they have a better chance of doing better.